We're taking a look at B2, the two bedroom non ADA compliant across the street from the Transitional Living Center and where Chapin Health and Cell, Chapin Health and Wellness Center will be. So again, this is kitchen leads to the first bedroom. And as we pivot around, we'll see the natural light being able to come in from across the street. It's a little less than the second story, which allows for a bit more distance, a bit more skyline, but this is still really welcoming, really open, tons of space available. And again, this is an active construction site, so <laughs> we're not expecting to see specifically anything as rough as this, but they're working on painting, they have finished ceilings. Next steps are to finish trim in other apartments, work on flooring, work on fixtures, switches, etc. Again, this will be our kitchen. We can see where the sink placement will be, where outlets are. One of the things that I've forgotten to mention though is fridge and washer and dryer space. So in opening up what might first look like a pantry, this is where our fridges will go. So again, we see outlines there. And then we see a dryer. So dryer hosing will connect to there. We'll get jetted outside come back again and so we have pantry space hot water heater this is the first bedroom on its side again a lot of light pouring in this will be the space in which we'll see our sink placement our refrigerator placement over here peeking outside the window we see a great view the tree line transitional housing, and again, where the Chapin Health and Wellness Center will be. So here's the other wall space of this bedroom, their walk-in closet, which is far better than I had at move-in for my first apartment. Coming back out, we see this person's private bath. Again, this one's disconnected. It's non-ADA compliant because it is a tub-based shower insert, but we can see where the sink will be. Exhaust fans, lighting, coming back out again. We see the half wall showing where bar seating is available. Kitchen counters will go. Here's another view of the living room space. So for a two bedroom, there is plenty of available room for couches, chairs, kitchen table and seating. Coming into the second bedroom. Here's what some of this space looks like. Again, peering out the window, we get a pretty great view. The tree line, where our stoop and patios are. So this space will be available for people to be able to decorate, call their own, have a couple of patio chairs, lawn chairs, to greet their friends outside. This bedroom does have their own private bath, so this is their walk-in closet available to them. This is the attached bath. So again, tub style shower insert. Toilet against the wall. Coming back out, we face the living room. So floor plans are similar between the second and first story, near identical save what would be a staircase headed up that way and exiting out over here. But this is a welcoming space and again, huge for a two bedroom. Thank you.